Thank, Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Sides. Thank you. Uh, you too, Keith. Marion County High School golf team, Mr. Reed, I see just just arrived right on time, looks like. Uh, he's a golf coach at the high school. He's here today requesting funding for equipment and some tournaments that you're going to be involved in. Uh, Magistrate Elder is not with us tonight, but he did request that I do give $500 out of his account to the golf team. Uh, I'd like to do so. Would you like to uh, comment? With uh, the way this sport is going, things are changing. You know, with basketball, you got AAU. Um, with baseball, you got travel baseball, and there's a lot of things that are taken away from high school sports. Uh, with golf, what's getting us is college coaches don't look at matches anymore. Your local matches with Harris County, and you know, the only cost we have out of that is travel for our bus. Now they're, more, they're looking more at tournaments. You know, this past year we had a golfer who got a scholarship to Midway. Um, I think it's the first, and also with the state, I think the first one we had was 99. Uh, so they're looking at tournaments now, so we're needing to play more tournaments, and those cost anywhere from 75 to 350 a pop. And now we got a girls' team, and we only have one girl right now, but their teams aren't going to bring one girl down to play or take her somewhere to play. So she has to play nothing but tournaments. Um, and as an individual, those get quite pricey. And um, with us being a nonprofit organization, I mean, we don't have concessions, we don't get any money. We're not only uniform rotation, everything we raise goes to tournaments or equipment or, you know, shirt polos and shorts and, and bags and things that they need. Um, so really, just with the way things are changing, we're having to play more tournaments and the cost of that to fundraise more and even now adding, getting the girls back and going. So we're just looking for, you know, every little thing that we can to help us out and help try to get these kids a college scholarship and possibly, you know, do they have a spring and fall both or just spring? Just fall? Mm -hmm. Did you talk to the Board of Education on the money we donate there for the different yeah. athletic groups? Did you get any funding? They had told, uh, told me to come to the meeting and try to get them to get approved. It's one of my parents' uh, went to actually in contact with me and back and forth. Did they, the did they say they wouldn't? participate or are they just you know when you ask them uh, they had just told us to come to the, to the meeting that's what i'm saying because we give them a pile of money mm -hmm. to support things like that looks like we're giving them then there's the object of the thing to start with was to let them divide it out among the non-revenue generating sports such as golf uh and and it's up to them to Allocate that as they see fit, you know. Not. I mean, to they should shouldn't give have to come you, back to us for approval. I mean, for that you can, but they should give you a reason, like we're out of money, or we're uh, not just say go see us because we give them money for that purpose. And you know, I don't know. I guess what I, was, I just found out about that money this year. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my parents used to work with Larry, and she was telling me about it. Um, and I emailed a couple people, and she emailed a couple people, and I really wasn't for sure if um, I need, like you said, get their approval to do it or anything, but they had, uh, said that I needed to come to a meeting and, and discuss it at the meeting. That, uh, that, that money, that's, that's, that's what yeah, I, I mean, we can still help it, whatever, but that money strictly, we gave them, and they're supposed to divide it up. So whether they give it to you or not, it's strictly up to them. They're supposed to decide who needs it and who gets it. So for them not to say anything, they should, you know, they need to tell you one way or the other, they're out of money or they're not gonna support your program or something. <clears throat> we'll still try to help you, but okay. you need to get a, a, some kind of an answer from them. You know, exactly. the, the we reason- We a while back we were gonna try to get a list of where that money was allocated from them. They give us one every get year. There, but we get that year, but they haven't got a t-shirt. The problem being, you know, just look at the list. Our intent was, like I say, non-revenue generating sports, and uh, maybe the list doesn't look like that's football, where it's they going. They football helmets and uh, stuff with it last time. Well, they're using a lot of it for coaching, that's a for transportation, sport, for there. insurance. It's going to support, because the last list we got, a whole lot of it was for that, wasn't for like to pay insurance, pay referees, pay coaches, or transport. transport, you know. I don't know that they gave 
I'm sure they gave some to some individual teams, but a lot of it went for the overhead part of it. So I don't. We need to specify on there exactly what it's supposed to go for. If you'll just check on that and let, make them give you an answer. Uh, today I can't offer anything because I'm broke. Uh, Are you taking IOU? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got days in IOU. I like, I like the man sitting up there as long as I got on paper, I guess. <laughs> I'll, I'd elder like to. 500. Get elder 500. Yeah, he's, John's got you five. I'll, I'll go ahead and give a good faith $250 effort, and you just get them to. I'll do 250 as well. Just, you know, either tell you yes or no, or not just come here because. Time out. I got to look here. Oh, whoa. Kevin, this is a buzzing nightmare. I'll give $144.46. <laughs> <laughs> now I am broke. I got another $2,300 bill I got to pay. I can't mm. do that. Oh, right. You're donating $2,300? So you're going to go, you gonna go to them yeah, and come back? To. Okay. It, uh, maybe let us know what their reply was. Uh, another thing, I guess the 1st of July, they'll get some more money. Yeah, it's a good time to hit them back. Oh, I went, the 1st of July, I'd, I'd be the first one in line on that. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Appreciate it. Thank you. We're going to make a motion on this. Second. Mr. Quell? Yes. Mr. Masters? Yes. Mr. Wicker? Yes. Mr. Bishop? Yes. Unanimous. Item number four, consider approval to appoint Pat Spalding to the extension board to fill seat vacated by Danny Miracle. Motion. Second. Yes. Mr. Bishop? Yes. Mr. Quell? Yes. Mr. Wicker? Yes. Unanimous. That's an excellent choice. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, number five, consider approval to allow road department and sanitation department to department to wear uniform shorts when they can be worn in a safe manner. That's going to be this, pretty. That Garrett will not wear on the court. <laughs> One condition that you will not wear on the court. <laughs> You handle those sexy legs or not? Talking about real short shorts or? That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Motion. Is that, that's not going to be a safety issue, like I say, where, where they can? Jimmy, you want to? I'd say we're going to go with some kind of uniform shorts. Uh, make sure we've got Everybody likes. Yeah, we don't want cut-off shorts out there, blues you can cut off or something like that. Well, hey, we'll go to Springfield and get the uniform shorts. I'm sure some of the jobs that won't be Yeah, they were some cost to get these uniform shorts. Or. The guy that won't was, uh, they paid one for sale. They just need permission to do Yeah, just need permission to wear them. Well, that's cheap enough. And you feel that safety-wide, it'd be, be okay? They'll still have their boots and things they'll have to wear, so. No flip-flops, nothing. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you need motion, a motion. Let that happen. I, I can see a problem. You're going to pay for them. We, we did it years ago. When Quit. But if we used to wear them years ago. What was the reason they made you quit? I don't know why. Uh, Injuries? I imagine when no. we look at them, you'll get a idea. But before y'all time. People <laughs> ride by seeing their legs and got distracted? They might have. They might have. I don't know. Motion. Yeah, motion. Second. Mr. Masters? Yes. Mr. Quail? Yes. Mr. Wigger? Yes. Mr. Bishop? Yes. Unanimous? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Uh, consider approval. Next item is consider approval of annual youth soccer funding requests. We we'll give that every year. Motion. Second. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Masters. Yes. Mr. Wicker. Yes. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Unanimous. Number seven. Consider approval of budget transfer to road department and EMS. Motion. Second. Mr. Masters. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Wicker. Yes. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Unanimous. Right. Number eight, consider approval of renewal of the community education program agreement. Motion. So, so is that for the that for the building? Down okay. here to the we do it every and year. Then as we well. do it every year. Adult education. Yeah. Mr. Masters. Yes. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Mr. Wicker. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Unanimous. Item number nine, consider approval of payment for non-public school transportation. Motion. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Mr. Wicker. Yes. Unanimous. 
Item number 10, consider approval of first reading of fiscal year 2018-19 budget. It's a motion. Second. Mr. Masterson. Yes. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Wicker. Yes. Good budget and good budget meeting. Mr. Cochran has provided some highlights, I think, from the meeting we had uh, Saturday. The total county budget increased slightly by 18600 to a total of 15860800 It's a less than 1% increase. The general fund budget increased by 7% to 7593000 The road department budget decreased by 21000 to $2,080,000. The detention center budget decreased by 447500 to 4513000 due to the fact the jail was paid off in fiscal year 2017-18. The EMS budget decreased by 6000 to $1,460,000. The most significant change in the budget is the increase in retirement contributions for employees. This will be around a 12% increase or around $150,000 across the county. The general fund budget includes $137,000 for the purchase of a new garbage truck, as well as a $50,000 for building, for building a receiving and discharging building at the detention center. The road fund budget contains, continues to be 900000 for paving of county road, the same as it has been for the past four years. There are no major equipment purchases included in the budget. The EMS budget includes 140000 for the purchase of a new ambulance, which that'll be two years in a row that we've been able to do that, which I think is a, a good, good purchase for, for EMS. All budgets have included a 2% cost of living increase for county employees pending approval upon fiscal court. So that's kind of what we went over Saturday. Appreciate y'all coming in and, and uh, helping with that. Any questions on the budget? Or? We have another reading, what next meeting? The first reading will be sent with tonight and then we'll, uh, next meeting we'll have the Depends on what we get back from the state. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a while. All right. Item number 11, consider approval of annual standing order of recurring expenses. Motion. Second. Mr. Mash. Yes. Mr. Wick. Mr. Coel. Yes. Mr. Bishop. And Judge, you want to say something nice to what that is so people understand what that is? Well, every year we have the same. I, I know same. myself. These are expenses, payroll, utilities, things that we have to pay when we get them in. We yeah. can't wait for a court meeting to uh, recurring expenses. We don't have to get them approved by the court until next year. So. Yeah, just to make sure everybody understands, I do know what they are. I just want everybody else to know, okay? We have to be able to run the county. Yeah. Pretty much. And that, those have to be approved by the uh, Department of Local Government. Local government well. Yeah. So, Item 12, consider acceptance of fiscal year 2016-2017 audit report. Was a good report? Motion. Second. Second. Mr. Mash. Yes. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Wicker. Yes. Unanimous. Item 13, consider approval of contribution to Marion County Sheriff's Office. Motion. Second. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Mash. Yes. Mr. Wicker. Yes. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Item 14 is department reports. Jimmy. What's this one? Uh, 2017-18. This is what they're supposed to be, and then we get a state bid price. That's pretty close to 900,000, all right. All the invoices and stuff been turned in, but you can get some money back in the summer. Uh, we've been working out already. Uh, we've got most of our little project down there done, and also this little service. I've got a garbage truck. Crap, and uh, it's just growing and growing and growing. Campbell Highway, St. Rose, that area in there. One truck mostly picks that up out in the county. I'm going to have to 
break that down just a little bit. Give a little bit of other garbage. So, so y'all stay playing on it. Isn't that one of them that, is that one of them you've got like 400 and some stops on it's each day? Yeah. Just so people understand how many times they get on and off a garbage truck every day. It's yeah. And, uh, and one, one level, if you don't get it in one level, you've got to get two levels. So if he's in holy cross loaded, you've got to come let him unload, go back. Uh, either we're going to have to do something or we're going to have to look maybe so we can get a picked up truck with one man running dead in road. Uh, we talked that before. I, I still think it's a good idea rather than run a fiber truck down the road that's overweight and getting what four miles a gallon or something and floating. Yeah, we'll Probably. Try this. Do any other counties do? I mean, I know you said that some of them they just use regular pickup trucks, or do they yeah. use? Uh, Nelson County, uh, they got a pickup truck that's got a little bed on, and when it gets full, they can back up to the big truck out on the road anymore and unload it right into the back. Of it. it is a dump, or is it they? Dump Small dump. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Is this on? Do something right. We'll have to do something else. We'll have to do something here. Like I say, can't, can't, can't. No, you don't want to run from Holy Cross to the transfer station. That's a uh, double act. Is that the big truck, or you still got it? No, we've done away with the big truck. We just. Yeah. Same way now. Yeah. The big truck was supposed to keep it. I know. That's what I thought. Yeah. And uh, the next couple, two or three weeks, and we'll try to have all the roads mowed, get the boom mowers and stuff out. Y'all get time. We need to talk about this blacktop list. What we're going to do this year. And I need over 10 more plastic tops. $2,139. Jim, it, it, it seems like that you always need some money. <laughs> <laughs> Motion. Our county is second. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, all Thank you, Jim. Jason. Jason. Thanks. Motion, Steve. You got anything, Jason? No, I'm good. Thank you all for your support. Appreciate it. It's where I'm at home. You got a second there? You got a motion, right? Yeah. Second. All right, go ahead. Yes. Mr. Fish. Mr. Quick. Yes. Mr. Wick. Yes. Mr. Nam. How's the plastic tiles? You think they're going to work all right? Maybe or don't? Yeah. Just see. They're going to do it. All right. About half right. Well, that's even better. Yeah. Are these shorts going to be like psychedelics so we can see them? <laughs> I mean, we need, we need somebody to keep them from getting hit, all right? Yeah. All right, Keith, what you got? I've got a couple of free things since I submitted this written report. Uh, we've got our estimates in now for the chip to the grant, for the rubberized and all the rubber portions. So I'll get that in the mail probably for home school work. I'll get that in the mail probably first of the week. So we've got those estimates in. Uh, talked with the division of waste management yesterday about the status of our recycling and other things that we've got to come into the state. Supervisor, the section head told me said they had approved all the grants. Uh, they, well, they've not approved them, they've signed the grants. And they sent the press release up to the commissioner to get it blessed. And they couldn't divulge who gets the grants. But said in the next few days we should be able to hear whether we got our recycling grant. It'll be, if we get it, if we get the whole grant, it'll be about a $100,000 grant for improvements to the recycling center. Met with another an engineer from the Division of Waste Management yesterday. We spent the day with it. Tim Rogers came down. When we put the uh, when we put the leachate collection system in out of the landfill uh, six, seven years ago, we got a four hundred and sixty nine thousand dollar grant to put that in and it was a completely state pay thing. We paid no money. And we lift all that leachate back to the floral hall manhole and it goes through the treatment plant. The original engineering, the original engineering on that was done in the early 90s. I worked with the court at that time from the health department standpoint, and they put monitoring wells in. And we monitored to see how much leakage was coming through the landfill and going in the creek. He came down yesterday, and we had
have money allocated now to remove those monitoring wells, the original monitoring wells. So then all the lead shape will be going to the treatment plant and there will be none going into Hardin Creek at all. That's going to be 100% state paid to it. I don't know what it's going to cost, but I it will probably be in under 50000 maybe plus that we'll get a grant for that from the state. Great. That sounds good. I got a question for you, Keith. On the recycling, the plastic bottles, uh, the tops, do, do they take the tops off the bottles? Or? You don't have to. Uh, it would be nice if you did because it's a different type of plastic, but we take care of that with labor recycling. I mean, uh, I'm talking about saving tops to make some benches with, and uh, you have to take the tops off. The, the bottle for it to work, they said. I didn't I know. my tops off and throw it in the garbage and then recycle the bottle, but you really don't have to. I mean, we'll take it and take care of it. Do they, do they have to take them off when they recycle? Or they, I mean, do they got to be removed? Or the, can they just Generally melt? Generally not, because it, it doesn't distress the bale to the point where it will reduce the cost of the materials. It's not a big deal. That's a major deal if they have to take all the, because I see them up there and half of them got tops on them. We don't usually do that at the recycling center. So we don't, it's nice, it makes it, it, makes it a better bale, it makes a more expensive bale to sell if the lid's wrong. Because there are two different types of plastic. Is the price of cardboard still good? Pardon? Is the price of cardboard still good? Yes, still good. Uh, it's, I think there's like a, 65 or 69 businesses now, it's growing all the time. Huge. It's really, really is, uh, is the glass pulverizer you were speaking to me about, is that in this last round of grant? grant? That, that pulverizer is going to run, uh, it's going to run about $45,000 pulverizer. The whole issue is, and, and uh, that's in this grant. And I put that down as the number that asked you to prioritize what you'd like to have in the grant in case they can't do the whole thing. And I put that down as number one priority. And then the next one is a paper shredder. It's about, uh, paper shredder is about $52,000, 20 horsepower. You can just throw stuff in there and we can shred documents. We give a certificate of destruction back to the people. You've seen these, these uh, what they do is they, they retain trucks to come around up. Come around, yeah. We'll be able to do that. Again, we'll save that, keep it local, keep the money local, <coughs> offer that service to people, and I'll, I'll just ask a certificate of destruction that we can give people saying that your documents have been blessed. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Thanks, Keith. Sure. Uh, other than our actual report that I submitted, we We've got our state contracts uh, signed this week for our programs. Uh, they went ahead and moved our contracts instead of annually. They moved them to two years because that's the way the state budget runs down. So our, con our, our program contracts are, are worth over a million three. So they're two years old. So they, they went ahead and they went ahead and. and signed our contract for our uh, detention center for two years on our program, so they've already set the money aside for us. So. Is that for the old price or the, that's, uh, the, uh, the that's old? still the old price. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, so yeah, say uh, oh. There's no adjusted price on that. So we've got two years with that price. Two years with that saying? price, but there's, uh, like I said, it's uh, just for the programs alone, it's, it's over uh, $1.3 million that they uh, the programs that doesn't have anything to do with the inmate, uh, the other part. No, no, it doesn't. Uh, okay, do it's two different. For them. This is just a program on. Oh, okay, so it's different. So I, was, it's, I was thinking about the per diem. No, no, the per, the per diem. Still negotiable. We won't. We'll, we'll, we'll not have an opportunity to address that again until uh, the next budget that's session, which will be two. 2020. <laughs> two, that's what I say. So we're two years. Yeah, they, 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 they've got the two years for that. Now, one. One good news is the judge uh, was at a meeting this week, and uh, you know we was looking at our re-entry and looking at possibility looking at some of the industry or anyone to help us with the construction of that. And it appears that the federal government's going to uh, pass some money back down to Kentucky, which 
would uh, be specifically lauded for reentry. Re and in fact, if that is a fact, I mean, that's the fact that he was told. So, uh, if, if Mitch I, McConnell, that, that could increase our our revenue potential at the jail uh, half a million dollars a year if we're able to obtain a reentry building without having to bond and build it. If Mitch McConnell's introducing the bill, so. So it, it's, it's a plan, it's not already done, but it's no, a plan. It's, it's a planned bill, yeah. 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 I, mean, that's, I mean, that's where you're going to see a lot of energy going now with, uh, with treatment and exiting, I mean, re-entry process where you put uh, individuals back to work, continue treatment, education, and work with them to get a savings account up. So, uh, and they did increase another, one of the other positives on our, our REACH contract, like our SAP contract, uh, our substance abuse contract is six months, 100, uh, 180 days, that's all we can hold an inmate on. They increased our REACH contract to the full 365, 12 months. So I can, uh, so I, I, I had a section of inmates that had completed early on some, some of their program stuff, but we still had them in some evidence base. So the payment was stopping on us. I mean, they were still finishing up on some yeah. other things other than reach. So uh, they went ahead and the commissioner approved to extend that reach out to 12 months for us. So that's, that was a plus. That'll help us generate some more extra money. To do. Is this federal money going to be something they just give each county? Is it going to be grant oriented or what? Uh, it, with the feds, will typically they'll pass it down to the state and then the state will give it out. But uh, it'll be one of those things that, of course, the judge can try to follow up on. We just try to be the yeah. you know, early bird gets the worm when we want to be first. Uh, uh, Marion County did get listed in a, uh, one of the policy announcements this week on. Uh, one, one of the several counties, there's probably uh, eight or ten counties been listed as uh, uh, medically assisted drug treatment. Uh, and that's, that goes along with us having treatment beds. So that's one thing the state wants to offer all of the opioid uh, addicts, drug addicts, as they're getting out of uh, getting leaving incarceration, that they'll be offered medical assisted treatment to help them out on the first Part of the state. So. Sounds good, Barry. Any more local counties doing the Vivitrol, or is that something that's. No, no but I, as, as far as I mean, Central Kentucky, Marion County be the only one right now. I mean, you'll probably find some at, at, at Grayson, Lincoln, not Lincoln, but uh, Kenton. Um, <coughs> there's several other counties, but Marion County is the only one centrally right now. It's, that'll be offered. And, and one thing we're hoping to do is, you know, to you know, pick that up a little bit and maybe give the opportunity for the district judges to utilize it and maybe probation and pro, probation and pro to get involved in, 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 in offering it and sanction especially someone that has, uh, that's out on parole that, that comes up hot on a drug test that, that, that it very possibly could be a, a sanction incentive if the, if the prisoner is still volunteering. I mean, it's, it's, it's medical assisted treatment. It's not, it doesn't fix them. It just helps them until they stay sober while they're, while they're getting the treatment. So the inmate still has to volunteer. But when the state puts those incentive on it, I mean, that, they'll actually, I mean, I, on some of them, they back off them good time. I mean, they'll reduce their sentence if they'll take the, uh, the Vivitron. So, I mean, with the state count, Anticipated hitting the prison count hitting at twenty five thousand by July. I, I, I am more than confident. I mean, I feel strongly that they're going to have to do some kind of uh, drastic move on on something with uh, because we just don't have any prison beds. Mm -mm. Thank you, Barry. All right. Thanks, Barry. Appreciate, Thanks, Barry. appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Robbie. Uh, we're at eleven hundred forty three calls from the end. I'd like to hire Daniel Carlson as a full-time paramedic. Kyle Barney is a full-time EMT from all this position. Motion. Second. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Masters. Yes. Mr. Coyle. Yes. Mr. Baker. Yes. Unanimous. Uh, 
thing that we discussed at the budget meeting was the truck that we might look at for for the ambulance that we're going to look at uh, possibly going with a, a different chassis right Robbie uh, 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 is this a new ambulance out here, Robbie? Uh, this one of the new ones out yeah, here? Yeah, I saw it. Looks different. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, like we got our $5 piece fixed. Yeah. <laughs> it's two and five. So. But uh, I know we can keep an iron bit. Of course, when the heat came, that's when you had air conditioning stuff. So, but uh, getting them taken care of us and getting us on the road. Sounds good. Thank you, Robbie. Thanks, sir. Rob. Gary? Well, uh, Laura has not passed out any words of uh, concern to me. The only thing I do know was last Tuesday was a siren test. And there's a couple that were never confirmed. It was one of them wasn't Calvary, was it? it? Was one of them. out. She personally went out, I want to say Thursday or Friday last week, and called the PD to do an individual test, and she, and she was doing the observation. Now, the only thing I got back from Ms. Laurie on that was grab a switch, we know because it slipped up in one part of it, but St. Joe came back on non compliant. So, what aspects of it was, uh, unfortunately, since we don't have the proper equipment on the console, I don't know if they push the button for the code. Does it go to St. Joe? See, we got no accountability from the time the dispatcher activated to go to St. Joe. They don't know. The dispatcher doesn't know whether the city went through and actually tricked it. So some of that equipment that was removed, we need to get back in place so we can have a functioning service. Because, you know... Who's, who do we need to have do that? Well, okay. we probably need to get all the people who did the console. Because the equipment was removed off the console when they updated the console on the PD. And the book was never put back in. So I've addressed a certain person on that three meetings ago. You're supposed to get back to me with an answer and possibly a price to get the equipment back to totally functional state. And I haven't heard nothing in three meetings. So I cannot answer something for you that I have no expertise in or knowledge because um, I'm waiting on somebody else to relay the information to me uh, and I'm not getting it. Okay. I'll be into it as well. Good enough. Yep. But uh, other than that, I do personally want to say thank you to the rescue squad for uh, assisting and locating the, uh, the missing person that was in the water. Um, my condolence to the family. I doubt still want to send to them for what they did. And we had a relatively quick find due to the weather and the water. So, and nobody got hurt. So that's a blessing all the way around. We found him. We didn't lose no person. We didn't lose no equipment, and nobody got injured. So it was a win-win. 
Thank you, Gary. I want to say thank you guys for whatever we, what you guys do to help us out. Thank you. You all do the work. Yep. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Animal control case not here, but she actually does have a report. Larry, you want you got the report? You need it. You can go. I don't think I've got it. Uh, I looked at it. But... As of to date, we have uh, adoptions cats, 55 adopted cats this year, 189 adopted dogs. Uh, we do have currently 13 court case dogs uh, that are at the center shelter. Two dogs still on the court hold. 16 dogs up for adoption. 19 cats up for dog adoption and three kittens. So that is a busy place out there. There is a lot going on. We do have a lot of stray dogs in our community, uh, in our county. I think they are, like Mr. Sullivan said, it is a problem that we do need to address. She did say they got the incinerator repaired and it's functioned. She tested it and it's all, it wasn't as bad as they thought. So they got it tested and working. Good deal. What's that court hold, Judge? What's that? What's that court hold? What court? I thought you said court hold. You said two dollars on court hold. hold. Uh, court. Court, case. court case. Court case. Court case dogs that the people are, I guess the owners are in jail, I guess is what it is. Ain't it? <laughs> Do they have to pay so much a day? Or? Uh, we have Miss Elizabeth Mattingly, who was recently hired at the Career Center with us today to give us a report on the Career Center. Hi. Hey. Hello, hello. We had been busy. Um, we had uh, two job fairs already since I've been there. Lots of job seekers and many of uh, the uh, been helping out a local employer who's got a few that are temporarily laid off. Um, when I say local, I mean surrounding counties, but they a lot of these people still live in this live in this county and travel their work. So we've been helping with all aspects. Um, we're trying to get back with our employers, kind of introduce ourselves uh, and let them know, <coughs> update all our information. Build our unemployment rate's probably the lowest. It's I think somebody said in 2012 it was nine something, and today it's like two seven. Is that correct? I'm uh, two seven two eight. So very good. Uh, well, I went out there a while ago. I stopped by a while ago. She gave me the grand tour. Embarrassed to say it's the first time I've been in it. It's amazing when all this go out there. Yep. Very nice. It's a nice building. It's a great service, though. It's a great service for the county and the people in it and the industry, everybody. Did, Thank you, Elizabeth. Did y'all get a, uh, the copier thing? Is it, is yeah, it part of the it? copier. They, they Did y'all decide it. on a... Uh, we, we have a copier. We have a little from Joe, apparently. Then we'll also put this. One of our deciding factors was for the toner, the toner from, from the one from the mail office put that's the next is cheaper than the toner that from the other yeah. company. So um, we think as far as going forward, as far as operating costs, that's the one. The seven. I guess we could take a motion to, to buy that one. Is uh, Do we already have a service contract with this Jody's? We do for the one we have here, but as far as the career center, we don't. We didn't have any. Of that. He gave prices as well. I yeah, mean, he but did. you got the, this. That's the choice from DOE. The one y'all motion to accept uh, bid on the copier. From the Second. Mr. Well. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Yes. Mr. Mash. Yes. yes. Thank you, Lou. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. Thank you. Under old business and new business, uh, item A is consider acceptance of excess fees from the county clerk in the amount of thirty-seven thousand nine ninety-eight forty-one for your fiscal year two thousand for years two thousand seventeen. Motion. Second. Mr. Master. Yes. Mr. Bishop. Yes. Mr. Wicker. Yes. Mr. Quayle. Yes. Unanimous. And thank you, County Clerk. 
Yes, Mr. Chair. Thanks, Chad. Anybody else have anything? I do, when y'all get there. I want to uh, donate 2300 of my community projects money to the Grouse Community Center for roof repair and air conditioning repair. Motion. Second. Mr. Masters? Yes. Mr. Bishop? Yes. Mr. Quayle? Yes. Mr. Wicker? Yes. Unanimous. Pay the bills. Oh, pay, pay the bills with addition. We've got an addition here. What's that good? Uh, one thing I want to mention, uh, I forgot to include Taylor County for that water rescue. Yeah. They come over here. Uh, one, two, three. Three chairs. Three chairs. Well, anyways, they come on over with a full crew trucks, boats, manpower, and uh, they were a bad book assistance. So I would be very remiss if I did not include them and the working relationship. So we have with other Summit communities is uh, very beneficial, beneficial to, um, to the citizens here. You know, at the drop of the hat, they will come. Thanks to that again. Make sure and let them know. We thank you. Yeah. Really appreciate them. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. We got a motion to pay the bills with additions. We've got a motion, no second. Second. Mr. Masterson? Yes. Mr. Quayle? Yes. Mr. Bishop? Yes. And Mr. Wicker? Yes. Unanimous. Everybody done? Okay. Did we just pay the bills? Any objections? Mm -hmm. That's what we just did. Just time. Thank you, Mr. Brady. Hey, Jack.